Journalist, did you ever head for a draw from the first move? Chess player, in all my life only once. In the 1955 USSR Tip Championship semi-final, playing white against Korchnoi, after the moves e4, e6, d4, d5, I captured on d5. I was terribly ashamed and from that time I swore to play for a draw at any rate with white is to some degree a crime against chess. Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video we are going to cover that same game where Mikhail Tal committed a crime. So Tal is white and he opened up with e4 to which Korshner responded with French defense and after d4 d5 we have the exchange variation. To be honest I myself don't like when someone is going for exchange variation because this leads to boring and drawish positions and usually fighting chess can be rarely seen in this line. He takes d5 by Korshnoi, bishop d3, the light squared bishop is occupying this diagonal, not allowing Black to play bishop f5 himself, bishop d6 by Korshnoi, c3, knight c6, knight f3 and knight g e7. When black is playing knight g e7, is both preventing white from pinning the knight and also in some cases is preparing bishop f5 jumps. Here Tal castled kingside, bishop g4, knight bd2, queen d7, rook e1 and castling kingside. I have to tell you that in here castling queenside is also playable, which leads to a sharper game, but in our game we have castling kingside, h3, bishop f5, knight f1, rook e8, bishop takes f5, queen takes f5, knight e3, nothing special, both players are maneuvering, putting their pieces on more active squares, and Tal is just going for a draw, you know, this is what he wants, to draw against Korchnoi, something which later we will never see, Tal's games are fighting games, you know, king f1, another waiting move. Where else on earth can you see a game where Tal makes typical moves with his king? f6, knight h4, f5, not allowing white knight to occupy that square, rook e2. Meanwhile, Tal is preparing to double up his rooks on the e-file and after the exchange of knights we have it rook e1. I guess he just wants to move away his knight and exchange the rooks as well. Meanwhile we have knight e6, knight d1, queen f7, queen c1, b6, b4 and g5. In return Korshno is playing aggressively and with this move he demonstrates that he is looking for a sharp battle. Of course now bishop takes g5 is not good because of this f4 move and white is facing some problems. What are you going to do with your bishop? If bishop h4 then this time f3 can follow and all this looks very scary. That's why after g5 we have king g1 but this is not good. Instead it was better to think about the activation of this queen. For example queen c2 is better with the idea of meeting g4 with queen d3. And now if g takes h3 then queen takes h3. But in our game we have king g1, another waiting move which allows Korshnoi to push forward his g pawn without meeting any obstacles and proceed with the attack. h takes g4, f takes g4, g3 and queen f3. With this move Korshnoi is sacrificing his knight and is preparing bishop takes g3 sacrifice, but it turns out that this is an idea which leads nowhere. Instead it was better to choose another strategy which starts with queen g6. The idea is to free this f7 square for the king and then put the rook on h8 and start making use of the vulnerability of this h and f files. Later black can bring his queen either on f3 or on h3. Yes, all this looks very scary, but in our game after g3 we have queen f3 and Tal munched the knight on e6. And in return Korshnoi went for bishop takes g3. Of course recapturing can be suicidal because this can allow black to checkmate white king. If rook takes e6 then rook f1 checkmate will follow 
That's why in our game where Rook takes e8, an absolutely precise defensive move by Tal, and after Bishop takes f2 check, Knight takes f2, Queen takes f2 check, King h1, the players agreed to a draw. It turns out that the only thing which Black can do is to announce a perpetual check. There are no threats, no mating threats, and that's why after King h1 we have a draw. Well, this is it, dear chess lovers. If this game was too boring for you, here is a chess puzzle, which is a very beautiful one and is taken from a game played between Yuri Averbach and Viktor Korshnoi. The task is to find the winning move for black. It's black to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Let me see whether you can find that blockading move. A nice hint for you. Thanks for watching. Here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well, I will see you in my next video, take care.